we have pushed the frontiers of ultra-fast laser science to its ultimate limit by generating uh, pulses of laser light that consists of a single wave cycle of the electromagnetic field. Uh, for this generation, we have used a technique that, have been, that has been pioneered by uh, the co-winner of this prize, uh, Anne Luillet. And we have used another technique that has been proposed by the other co-winner of the prize, uh, Paul Corkum, for measuring the duration of these pulses. So the establishment of attosecond physics uh, is a multilateral multinational effort. With these tools and techniques, uh, scientists all over the world have been able to look into processes uh, that uh, uh, evolve uh, within atoms, molecules and also solid matter with the participation of electrons and have been able to observe the motion of these uh, tiny, extremely fast particles in real time. Attosecond technology has enabled uh, us uh, for the first time to uh, observe directly the motion of electrons uh, in uh, molecules which uh, happen to be the functional building blocks of all living organisms. By tracing and gaining insight very deep insight into these processes uh, at the most fundamental level, at the level of, of molecular interactions, uh, we have the chance to understand much better uh, the processes underlying, uh, um, underlying life and underlying all processes that are relevant for life. On the technical side, Electrons play another extremely important role in nanocircuits. Uh, they are responsible for uh, switching on and off uh, electric current uh, and uh, in this way processing information at ever higher speed. If we wish to um, expedite uh, the signal processing to build uh, ever more powerful computers, again we need to understand uh, the way electrons move uh, in these tiny dimensions and uh, uh, by doing so uh, we have the chance to advance uh, electronic signal processing uh, to its ultimate limit uh, uh, to the oscillation frequency of visible light. The first decade of attosecond science uh, has been about uh, looking into fundamental processes, fundamental electronic processes in atoms, uh, molecules and solids. Uh, after doing so, we have realized that uh, uh, the ability of actually measuring not just electronic motion, but also the oscillation of the electric field of light uh, opens the door for perhaps the first real-world application of attosecond science. By hitting molecules with extremely short infrared laser pulses and uh, probing, uh, sampling the electric field, the excited molecules, uh, send out uh, in the wake of this ultra-fast excitation, we have been able to measure with, with uh, uh, never-before-achieved sensitivity molecular signals that contain information about the atomic structure and atomic composition of the molecules under scrutiny. We have been uh, uh, using this uh, technique for scrutinizing uh, tiny minuscule changes of the molecular composition of human blood and use this ability 
to distinguish blood samples of cancer patients from uh, blood samples of healthy individuals and recognized that we can indeed uh, um, uh, detect uh, reproducible uh, changes in this infrared electric field molecular signal and uh, we have been able to use this for distinguishing uh, actually uh, persons uh, who carry the tumor in their body from those uh, who uh, happen to be healthy. In this way we may be able to um, actually detect uh, all kinds of cancer but most probably also a number of other diseases opening the door for a broadband health monitoring uh, by using infrared molecular fingerprinting.